I'm still really, really annoyed we haven't found something amazingly rare yet. So we're going to spend a whole bunch more money looking for just that today. Before doing that, we're going to give this man his change. Should probably also restock some of our shelves. These purple packs are getting us $27 profit, so we're going to order a lot more of those. Five of them cost $1,100. And like any good business owner, we open them on the street, and I'm just going to go spam them over every shelf I can get my hands on. I've got a lot more shelf space than I thought. I thought for sure that was way too much inventory, but it actually fits really nicely. Because we're only shop level 20, we're going to settle for buying a pack or two of these and opening each and every one. Because I'm feeling lucky. I mean, they can't all be completely garbage. But the beautiful thing is, it's only going to take one of these to change my fortunes. Well, here's a $120 card that looks kind of cool, but it's only $120. That's one box done. Man, I'm going to put these cards up for sale. 20% we round them out. That's $145 for that single card. This one's actually a pretty good price as well. So we made our money back basically in two cards. And I've heard from a very unreliable source that the Nocti plushie is a very profitable item. Since we're back up to $4,500, I'm going to buy the license for this and we're going to buy six of these and see if that's correct. At the very least, I'm going to have something different to look at. But uh, since we had to make shelf space, we're just going to go ahead and open up these three basic card packs. Okay, so market price for these, plus 20%, they're $40 profit each. Depending on how many of those we sell, that's actually pretty good. Of course, we did to spend $1,200 on the license for them, so we gotta factor that in. While we're waiting for a few of those to sell, right back to work, fueling my addiction. Okay, the second box is done. We found a $86 card, that was it. But it's cool that Walter White decided to come for a visit. I found a $221 card somewhere in there. I must have looked right past it because I was busy looking for a fourth digit. But we'll go ahead and sell that one for $268. So these red legendary packs definitely pay for themselves quickly because I generally find a few cards worth a couple hundred dollars. Since I need more profit, I've ordered a few more of the purple boxes because these are selling quickly and making us loads of money. And I noticed we do have a lot of people using our playing tables. So as I open my shop the next day, uh, we're going to change the event around. The one we're at uh, affects some of the card pack prices. I'm not sure I care about that anymore. We're going to go up to the golden star, the highest available, because that's $22 an hour we can make up people. Cards with gold border might increase their price. Okay, uh, I'm only going to do $20 an hour because I'm a nice person, and that's going to make us uh, more money off of everyone here at tables. And as much money as I spent yesterday, we still wound up with $5,000 today. That guy's so disappointed in our lack of cards, we're gonna have to find him some more. So I'm gonna order a few more of these boxes, we'll take another $1,100 of those, plus some for me to personally open, which are gonna be these. We'll get three boxes of those, then we'll start our uh, stocking and opening spree. So these things uh, obviously sell for quite a bit of money, but they're not going that quickly. I think we're better off to sell more so these things. But I think we can all agree, the best strategy is just open cards until we find something absurdly valuable. There's $135 that thing. I had to take over the till because my idiot wasn't doing things fast enough, but that was a $204 order. I think we need to expand the shop a little bit as well. I'm going to spend $900 doing that. Uh, that basically means I just have to push my bench back in here a little bit, and we got maybe a little bit more room for who knows what. It's tempting to try and spend a bunch of money uh, getting a license for like a very expensive figurine, but I have to sell so many of them just to make the money back for the license. Okay, out of that last pack, I did get a $212 that thing, Fistomon, $279 after it's marked up 20%. These individual cards really do seem to sell quite quickly, so we're definitely making good money just going for the rares. Even though I've spent the entire day basically spending money and opening cards, we went back over $5,000. We're generating almost $3,000 a day at this point. I accidentally just clicked on his water deck thing, so I feel obligated to buy at least $1,000 worth of these to hopefully make that money back at some point. Uh, so we'll go uh, find a home for these on some of the shelves, and uh, hopefully they're worth a lot of profit. $13.04 per one of those, so I'm going to have to sell a million of those to make the money back for the license I just bought. I can always gaslight myself into thinking they're worth a lot of experience, and therefore that was somehow worthwhile. Well, mistakes aside, I've still got really just a license to print money. As long as people buying the purple packs were rolling in profit. I did just find a $193 card that I've never seen before. Rather, a uh, shiny looking thing. $234. Starting to feel like I could fit more shelves in here with more merchandise. So let's order at least one more of these and then we're going to fill that up with new stuff. Also, my bills are due $810. I guess because the shop is getting big, we'll just pay all of those. We still have $3,500 left after all that. I bought yet another shelf, so we have even more shelf space for hopefully even more good stuff. Not sure what this guy's still doing in this store. I feel like it closed hours ago. Thank you, get out. And since we have extra space in here, it's time to order even more stock. Purple boxes galore. We're going to spend uh, $1,800 on these. Which is a lot, but that's a lot of profit considering how much these are worth. 
<laughs> and people are buying them by the bushel. Like, that was $306 for me. Uh, this guy, this is another $300 from these two cards he bought. Uh, this was $173 order, so obviously we're starting to do something right. So even buying everything that we did, we're still not even close to filling up the shelves. So let's buy even more, another $900 of these things. Uh, I'm going to knock things back to the wind cup. It's only $10 an hour, but only $70 a day. That's actually a better price to earnings ratio. Okay, out of this pack, the one at the beginning, the shiny boar. Well, that was worth $969 when we add our uh, traditional 20% markup and round that, $1,173. And we are going to sell that one. Mostly because I can't be bothered to swap out anything in this case. I don't know if this makes any conceivable difference anyway. It already just gets in the way of my gambling addiction, and that's all that matters. That's an interesting looking card. That's only $400. But I think that's from a different set entirely. Surely thereafter, I did find another card worth $227. We have one out of the plushies. I am going to order more. I'm not really entirely sure why. I guess just trying to make my money back for the license. I did also just find a $733 that thing. So our luck is actually looking really strong the past few minutes. So in total today we had 73 customers visit. So we're seeing lots every day. We still made a thousand dollars despite all the money we spent. I realized I can move my display, pace, uh, display case over by the door. That way it's a little bit less in the way. And well, people can admire it on the way out. Now that we have an opening over here, $750 plus 20% rounding, $900 even for that. I just noticed this guy selling my most valuable card. That's a $1,200 one, easy money, a whole 10 experience. Moving on to day 41, it's the middle of the afternoon, we have over $10,000 to our name, which means it's time to expand the shop again. This will cost $1,050, it's debatably worth it just to buy the other shop there for 5 grand, but for now I just want a few shelves at the back and you'll see why. I'm gonna buy a double sided shelf for $750, that'll fit nicely in there and I think we could definitely even fit another one. Sorta like that, now customers can slip on both sides of this, that's very efficient use of my space. I realized we were making lots of profit off of the purple boxes but not getting a ton of experience. So we just need to sell a whole bunch of stuff for experience regardless of profit because that's covered. My understanding is that the playmats are uh, something that you can uh, sell in bulk. So let's spend a thousand dollars on those and take a gamble. Because we don't have to make a lot of money on them, we just have to sell a lot for more experience and we can sell higher value stuff later. Yeah, we're gonna fill the shelves up with these. And I think I understand why you can put 16 in each individual shelf space. I might end up having my idiot fill these all up for me. This is definitely interesting. I spent a thousand dollars on these and I've only filled up that much space so far. So I'm definitely going to try and fill the rest of these shelves uh, by the end of the day. It's only 6.30 so we have time. Going to spend a lot of money on these playmat things. So I'm going to spend $2,500 on these. It's going to take a second to stock all this. Especially considering I cleverly uh, designed my shop like a maze to trap people. I haven't actually even put a price on these and people are already buying them by the barrel full. So I don't know what to make of that. I get we're making money on them, I guess. Stocking this really does take a long, long time, but we'll get a lot of experience for selling it all, especially if we do it in a hurry. For $5,000, whatever we spent, we didn't quite get the entire thing filled, but close enough for me. So the market price is currently here. We're going to turn the price down. So we're only making 17 cents uh, per one of these. Not very much at all, but those are going to sell real fast. And I feel like just adding that extra space and things in, uh, we had 84 customers. So that's a big increase. Our profit for the day minus $4,200. But the purple packs will make us money. Uh, they're still selling for $22 profit each. So we'll make money on those. Then we'll make uh, experience on everything else. There we go. This guy's buying three of the mats plus the deck. So there we go. We'll still make some money on that. And for our trouble, we're going to get 36 experience. The shop is definitely the busiest I've ever seen it so far today. So either adding inventory or the extra space or the shelves is bringing a lot more people in. I can't tell if people are buying a lot of these because we have so many of these, uh, but we still have the full day to get there. We're getting so many customers. I'm going to expand the shop one more time. Costs a modest $1,200, but that puts us down to $5,000 and we can fit two more double-sided shelves in there. And I need to actually be careful because I'm going to end up swamping myself with customers. Because I already had the license for the card sleeves, we're going to buy a whole bunch of those anyway. That way you don't have to waste a bunch of money in. A uh, new license and we're going to go fill the shelves with even more crap to sell for very little profit. Uh, okay, these hold uh, 20 each, so we're going to go down, so we're just making very little profit per one, but that will hopefully bring lots of people in. Five cents is good enough for me. Uh, but I'm going to make this guy go restock the shelves. Uh, yes, go fill up the shelves. I'm going to take over your job of giving people the wrong amounts of money. I'm just going to click on $1 until we uh, get a green thing. In between ringing people in, I am going to be opening the legendary packs, because why wouldn't I be? So now as long as I keep ordering more junk, my idiot will keep filling the shelves with that stuff and then we're going to live happily ever after and make tons of experience. 
every uh, 100 packs or so I open, I'm going to go over and put my most valuable cards for sale individually to make a little bit of money back. It's almost the end of the day and my guy has not brought everything even in the store yet. I don't know what happens if I leave it out all night. I don't want to find out the hard way. So far so good because today we had 93 customers. That number is going up. Uh, and my guy's got to go back to work with some stuff. So I'm definitely going to replenish some of the uh, purple boxes. We're going to buy another five of those for $1,000. Uh, maybe some more of our bat plushy things since he's going to be doing a stocking anyway. And he can deal with all that. Well, we just ring in the money. Look at the amount of these people are buying suddenly. I assume because the price is so good. So as long as he's continually uh, hauling stuff in and restocking his shelves, I think we're going to manage to keep up with it. Sales like this are what get me going right now. We're making absolutely no money on this. But we got 96 experience. That's the thing that's going to actually level us up. I've also found a way to balance out the money thing a little more because we're making basically no money on all this garbage. <laughs> so we just started charging even more for these and people for some reason are still buying them. It's been a while but I found another rare card. $293 for whatever this thing is. It's day 44 and the ridiculously low prices don't really seem to be enticing people that much to buy more. So I'm going to turn the prices down just a little bit but we'll still make lots of money. And we're still selling out lots of the purple, so we're going to make lots and lots of money. And the two strange cards I found earlier are from what's called a ghost set, which is like an entirely different set. But luckily, very valuable. This is also a very big order, uh, $605.17. I'll take that all day long. I was mindlessly opening packs because it's getting me extra experience, and the new one over there is worth $1,100. And I think there was also a good amount of experience. We only have 10000 to go before I get the next level. Alright, one $1,100 card. We're 20% over and round that, $1,358 for a single card. And this is the man that's bought our $1,358 card. And that's going to get us 10 whole experience. I think I finally, finally found something in the ballpark of what I'm looking for. Over there on the left. $2,500. And I got an achievement for a full foil art card. Isn't it sparkly and beautiful? $2,500. It only took me 8,500 hours to get here. So for now, I think I'm actually going to stick that right here by the door where someone can easily steal it. And hopefully people can admire it. I will sell that when I'm desperate for money. I'm not sure what's happening, but every time it's closing time at 9 o'clock, I still have half the store hanging out, not doing much of anything. But I will take that experience. I also found this uh, fun bug. I think it happens if you flip the sign just before you go to bed, you wake up and everyone's still in the store. But that way they get to make uh, purchases first thing. And I'm pretty sure after this guy's sale, or maybe this person's sale, look at all this stuff. We are going to hit shop level oh, wow. 25. And that means I can finally start buying the Destiny cards. This is just going to be a basic pack and the license costs $3,000, but these are all new cards and I'm sure they're valuable. So we'll start out with three boxes of those for $500 and see if we're going to make our money back. But at least I'll get lots of dopamine opening these because these will all be new, each and every one of them to begin with. The first one of note was worth $30, which is about on par with the last ones we've been opening. But at least I get slightly different images to flip through really quick while I'm opening these. We did immediately find a $1,000 card, which we'll immediately put up for sale. Uh, this wasn't the one I just found. I'm not entirely sure where I got this one. Uh, oh yeah, I've got to go to a different uh, album because these are all Destiny cards. So we can start selling Destiny cards there. That is now... $1,240. That card was almost immediately bought. The expensive ones almost always are and I don't know why. I was really hoping with this new set of cards we'd be finding a lot more higher value ones and especially rare ones. So far they seem more or less the same as the last ones. Okay these are the final packs out of the three boxes I bought. And while we did find a few new cards, we found nothing of value. But luckily I still have $14,000 so next time we could buy something really really stupid. I feel like 